Yo, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? You know who this is, the real one, always 100, Gabriel Skywalker from Skywalker DFS, a.k.a. the DFS Club, coming to you guys with the NBA Main Slate video. So if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, grab a pen, paper, because this isn't one of them, like, five-minute videos. We take our time. We go through the slate, and we try and take it. And if you're also new, this guy right here, this is Schroeder Skywalker. He will be giving us hashtag his Schroeder's picks at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. He'll give us his double, double and triple, double calls. All right. Um, what we're looking at here, guys, is draft dashboard, the best optimizer on the planet, guys. This will help you with all your fantasy stuff. One dollar for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below and you yourself can have draft dashboard, guys. You got the. All my save lineups, you get access to all my watch players. It's my player pools, including NFL, NHL, um, NBA cheat sheet, guys, because if you can't win, cheat. This has the best locks, best mid-tier, best value. So if you ain't down with draft dashboard, I don't know what to tell you. I got two words for you. You guys remember DX? No? All right. I tried. Anyways. Let's go over the injuries. So Marcus Morris went from out to questionable. We already know D'Angelo Russell is out. Draymond Green is probable. Again, I still can't believe they waived Marquise Chris. So I don't get it. Uh, George Hill is out. Drew Holiday, four hours ago, is out. Wendell Carter, as of four hours ago, is out. So I'm going to have to stay tuned again, as we do every day, and see uh, – Who's going to play? Who's going to start? Um, sometimes there's good value. Sometimes there's bad value. Most of the times, guys, when you're paying 3-1 for these guys, even though they're getting the start, it always ends up being bad value, right? Every once in a great while, it's not. But for the most part, it is. It is. Uh, Jampari Parker is out. Bruno is out. Will Barton is out. My gosh. Who's going to be left? Daniel Thais went from to questionable. All right, Jimmy Butler's probable. So, yeah, a lot of injuries. So we got to keep pay attention to that tomorrow. So let's get into the position optimizer, and let's break it down. Another DX theme. All right, so we have a ridiculous price, James Harden here at 12.8. He is $1,600 left on FanDuel. He's got an 82 last game, a 55. Um, 36, 33% usage rate. Last time he played ATL, guess what? He got an 85. Before that, a 62, a 39, a 60, and a 55. 12, 8, I hate the price, but you know what? It drives a lot of ownership off of them, so it's fair. I can't complain. Next up, uh, you have to pay up for one, either Luka or James Harden. I'm going to go Harden. He's got the better matchup. Denver is tough defensively. I don't like it matters with Luka either because we know he's he's uh, matchup proof too. So, But I would go Harden there. Next up, Trey. Ice Trey Young at 9.7. So you're getting Trey Young under 10K, which is good. 52, 63, 50 in his last three. Um, this one, you just got to hope it's not a blowout. Not too bad of a blowout. Anyway, um, usage rate 28, 41, 36%. Last time he faced Houston, he got a 52, 45, 51. I ain't got to tell you about Trey Young. He's either going to get you a 45 or a 70. All right. So next up, I love this play right here. Zach Levine, I don't love the price. He's almost 9K Zach Levine. My God, what is this, 2017? Uh, but the play, the matchup is good. But I don't know if I can pay that much for him unless I have like a, a slot for 8-9, but it should drive his ownership way down. His ownership is always down, and this is going to make it even worse. 46, 53, 42 in his last three games. Even 38 minutes last three games, usage rate is 28 to 37%. However, last time he faced New Orleans, he got a 54, 37, and a 28. So, Zach Levine could get a 33 on you, and you're going to pay 8-9 for him. He does make the 30-point club, but still. Oh, and by the way, those of you that had 80 tonight, including myself and all my lineups, uh, rest in peace. Hail Mary. That killed everything, so... Um, that happened to you too. I, I feel for you. Next up, we got Kyle Lowry on a shorthanded, uh, Toronto team. So Kyle Lowry is playing 40 minutes a game. Um, he balled out again tonight. Um, 
again, 8-6. So between him and Levine, I'd probably go Kyle Lowry. He will be higher owned, especially at 8-6 because he's so cheap. He's $400 less on FanDuel. Um, Charlotte is ranked eighth in the league defensively against guards. So keep that in mind. His usage rate is through the roof. Last time he faced Charlotte, he got a 40. So, um, he's just on another level right now. And how can you not be? You're, you're playing in the mid forties in minutes every game. So there you go. There's Kyle Lowry for you. Next up, Terry Rozier, six, seven. 30-point club guy right here. Check this out. 41, 51, 46 fantasy points in his last three games. Another one getting 40 minutes a game. Usage rate is 26 to 30%. Toronto's tough defensively, but that's when they are got all their stars. So that seventh in the league really doesn't – I don't care about. 41, 51, 46, 20, and a 23 in his last five. The only thing is, since he's had three good games in a row, we know Terry Rozier, and he could dud on you and get a 20. So that's what he does. He's very, very frustrating sometimes to play, so keep that in mind. But he, if you want to ride the hot hand, here you go at 6-7, because the price isn't bad. Same price on FanDuel, so no difference there. Next up, Marcus Smart. If he gets a start, you're going to start Marcus Smart. And on it, almost rhymes. He's only 5-6. 31, 17, 47 in his last three. Of course, I played him. He got the 17. Uh, 34, 32, 35 minutes in his last three. Usage rate is pretty good. 17 to 20%. Going up against San Antonio, right? 28th in the league against point guards, guys. 31, 21, 19, 11, and 25 in his last five. Who we got next? We got Lonzo Ball because Ball is balling out at 7-4. Um, he is 1100 cheaper on FanDuel, which is very nice. 43, 55, 38 in his last three. Um, usage rate is between 19 to 27%. Last time he faced Chicago, he got a 42. Check out his last five games. 43, 55, 38, 59, 23. Chicago's ranked number one in the league against point guards, but I think this should be a, a competitive game, and I will have tons of shares of Lonzo Ball. He will probably be chalky, though. He's just too cheap. Next up, too many people be sleeping on him, man. This redheaded ginger right here, Kevin Herter, 6'2". Dude's a beast, man. 38, 46, 38 in his last three. Gets between 33 to 41 minutes a game, right? Beast mode right here. 38, 46, 38, 39. And a 12. That 12 is when he came back from injury. So this has been back, guys. He's been crushing it at low ownership, too, at 6'2". He is $500 less on FanDuel, so get him in there. Next up, I guess you can go Gordon Dragic at 6-1. we got to see what the Miami rotation is going to be. Um, 55 last game and only 25 minutes. Sorry, 29 minutes. So he comes off the bench. His usage rate is pretty good, though. 32, 26, and 30% in his last three games. Going up against Indiana, um, he got a 28 last time against him. I guess you can go there at 6-1. He's a risky GPP play. All right, I'll just call him that. He is $800 less on FanDuel. Next up, if you you ain't Ish Smith, 5-8. Not too bad. It's going to be him and the Jordan McRae show if Bradley Beal is out, which I wouldn't be surprised if he was out again, guys. Um, they're doing just fine without him. So they, they, they he can just sit at home and do nothing. 37, 54, and 28 in his last three. Now, between him and McCray, he's always higher owned, all right, because he's a little bit cheaper. 32, 31, 22% usage rate. Um, going up against Orlando, right, six defensively against point guards. Last five games, 37, uh, 54, 28, 23, and a 37. So definitely at 5'8", you want to include him in your 30-point club. As long as he get, you know, as long as Beal's out. All right, so let's go to shooting guard. All right, so who do we got off the top? We got Jimmy Buckets. Seems like he's always in a tough matchup lately. Going up against Indiana, ranked second in the league against guards and forwards. So he's 8-2, but he's very cheap. Jimmy Buckets got a 51 last game in only 34 minutes. His usage rate is okay, 29 and 23% in his last two. Um, last time he... Faced Indy, he got a 40. Not too bad. 
Um, 51, 36, 40, 56. Jimmy Butler will be low owned because he always is because there's always that game that he'll dead on you. And it seems, I swear I curse these players. So when I play him, he duds. When I don't, he goes off. That's just, that's just the way it is. Next up, DeMar DeRozan is too cheap at 6'8". Going up against Boston, 38, 40, and 39 in his last three. Um, Boston's ranked ninth in the league against guards. Last time he faced him, he got a 30. Last five games, you want to talk about consistent. 30, 40, sorry, 38, 40, 39, 42, 46. Get yourself some DeMar DeRozan at 6'8". He is $200 more expensive on FanDuel. Next up, who do we got? We went over them. J.J. Redick is back, right? 5-1, so not too bad. He was about 30% owned last late. Uh, 29, 29, and 25 in his last three games. So damn near 30. Both the minutes have been up. He got 31 minutes because they're so shorthanded at guard. Um, let's see. What do you do against Chicago? Last time he faced him, he got a 34. So J.J. Reddick could be a cash play. We just got to see what his ownership is. Uh, next up, Reggie Bullock. Now, his, his minutes have been going up and up and up. He got the start today. However, he didn't get that many fantasy points. That's because he didn't play that many minutes because, of course, like everybody, they got blown out by the Lakers. So, Reggie Bullock at 3-4 can definitely get you 30 or more fantasy points. He was doing it last year. And New York's finally given him the minutes. So, like I said, in a closer game, and if as long as it doesn't blow up by 40, he should be solid value at 3-4. Don't forget Reggie Bullock, guys. And ladies watching my video. Next up, Tim Hardaway Jr. at 4-4. Tim Hardaway Jr. at 4-4. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. I will take that. That's good value right there. Tough matchup against Denver. But Hardaway is going to have to make some three-point sh three jump shots if they are to stay in the game. So get yourself some Tim Hardaway at 4-4. Four, four. It's that simple. Uh, just came back from injury. His usage rate was 19%. Got 21 minutes. So I'm thinking that they're gonna, his minutes, he will get more minutes. He'll get his full run. And hopefully he gets 30 at 4-4. Four, four. That'd be sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. So let's go to small forward. All right, we have Giannis Antetokounmpo, Big D, going up against Golden State. This will be a bloodbath. Um, but Giannis has always been known to play, even during blowouts. But if this one blows out by 40 or 50, even then he still could play. So keep that in mind. Uh, 60, 47, 64. I ain't even going to waste my time telling you about Giannis. He's 11, 5. All right. Um, he'll probably be the lowest own payup option compared to Harden and, uh, Luca. Harden and Trey Young will probably well Trey Young's always low owned too. So him and Trey Young will probably be about the same. Let's see who we got next. You can go Brandon Ingram at 8-8. Eight, eight. Um God, I just don't like the price. I don't like it. He got a 57 last game. So it'd be kind of like point chasing. Because normally he'll get you lately he's been getting 30s. So I guess uh I'm just not comfortable with it. However, Jason Tatum next up. At 7-6 and a great matchup against San Antonio, right? 28th in the league against forwards. He's got a draft dashboard ranking of 92. Um, 26, so he's coming off a dud game, which is good. We want that, right? Because he'll bounce back and get a 47. That's what he does. That's what he does, guys. Last time he faced San Antonio, he got a 40 burger. So Jason Tatum, get him in there at 7-6. Next up, same team. Gordon Hayward at 7-1. Same situation. 32, 36, 30. I just think he's overpriced. He's $600 cheaper on FanDuel. Um, I think you can get 30 fantasy points out of a 5.9, uh, maybe a 5-1 player. That's the only thing, my issue with this. But if Gordon Hayward goes off, which he's done, he just hasn't done it in a while, so he's due. That's all I'm banking on is that he's due. Um... And he's, he's always high. He's always chalk. Always. They can put this man at 9K and he'll still be 30 to 40 percent up. You'll just love playing him. Uh, next up, Aaron Gordon. I always cringe whenever I click select on Aaron Gordon, but he's been consistent lately and he's affordable six two. going up against Washington, right? 20th in the league against forwards. 
So since Aaron Gordon's been back, he's gotten a 33, a 34, and a 31. Last time against Washington, a 37. And he does have a 48 against them. So Aaron Gordon's not a bad play. As we all know, Orlando players are always low owned. So good GPP play right there. We went over Redick. We went over Reggie. Next up, he got the start today, but he didn't get to finish the game, which I feel bad for this guy because he was crushing it. I mean, he was uh, on a roll tonight, and then uh, he sat. So they brought him in with like 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Totally ridiculous, but he's only 4'9". Rondas, Hollis, George, Jefferson, 27, 26, 23. If he gets to start again, guys, let's just hope he finishes. Because at 4'9", that's great value. He would have gotten 30 fantasy points easily. So get him in there. Who we got next? Any scrubs down here? Nope. We try not to mess around with these scrubs because it gets you in trouble. Let's go to power forward. Um, oh, before we get into power forward, guys, let me show you www.dfsclub.com, the daily fantasy sports powerhouse, guys. We are a DFS club. You get three providers in one. Hence, we are the DFS club. DFS space, you got the DFS whispers, you got myself, guys. We cover every single sport, NBA, NFL, MLB, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, eSports, MMA, WNBA, college sports, guys. We cover them all. Click the Join Now button. Make sure you click on my logo, Skywalker DFS. And pick your plan, guys. We help you with bank more, bankroll management. We cover... DraftKings, FanDuel, Yahoo, you name it, we cover it, guys. If there's a site, we cover it for fantasy sports. Um, we don't do – the only thing we do not do is, uh, like, straight up, like, uh, online, like, gambling, that kind of stuff, you know, like betting on games and that kind of shit. We don't do that. But other than that, we just stick strictly to fantasy sports. Um, we help you build lineups. We – uh, do pre-lock insights, which are the members only podcasts. DFS space has a great bankroll management video in the chat room, guys. Um, we cover every single sport and 24 seven. We are in there, guys. So come check us out. www.dfsclub.com. Pick your plan. We are the cheapest in the industry. I challenge you to, if you can show me anybody else that offers every single sport for these prices, you let me know. And I will beat it. All right. That's my challenge to you. So remember www.dfsclub.com. Come join the family. And let's get back to it. Let's go to power forward. All right. And Schroeder's all excited. He thinks it's Schroeder's picks already. We got Sabonis. Now he's questionable tomorrow with the knee problem. So we all know if there's no Sabonis, it's Miles Turner's time. We know, we know that. But if Sabonis plays, get him in there at 8-7. 50, 47, 48, especially if he's a game time decision, the ownership on him will be like five or, or less percent. So wait it out, guys. If he's a game time decision, get him in there. This man does not know how to score less than 40 fantasy points. 50, 47, 48, 48, 43. He's just on another level this year, guys. So get him in. Going up against Miami, ranked 12th in the league. It doesn't even matter. This kind of made me laugh right here next up. John Collins, 8K. Are you kidding me? That is way too expensive for John Collins. I'm sorry. Not for a man that's getting 32 to 29 fantasy points. I know he's a great basketball player, right? I don't, not, don't take that away from, but 8K, no. No thanks. Next up, we got Lamarcus Aldridge going up against Boston, 7-3. Price went down by 100 bucks. Same price on Fandle. 30, 35, 45 fantasy points is the last three. Safe, 30 point. Club right here. Um, minutes are consistent. 32 minutes. His usage rate it ranges between 17 to 22 um, percent. Let's see. Boston ranked 13th against Big. So, well, Marcus Aldridge is definitely in play. Next up, Laurie Markkinen, six nine. Um, we talked about this last video. I got him while he was 0.3 percent owned, and he got a 41 because he was a game time decision, right? So, if he's a game time decision again, I know they do that on purpose just to get his ownership down. Um, get him in there at six nine. I think he's definitely worth it. He loves to play New Orleans. 
He got a 49, 45, and a 31. Three times he's played them, two 40s and a 30. So sneaky play right here at 6'9", Lori Markkinen, guys. Let's see. Next up, with no Marquise Chris, we got to keep an eye on who's going to, you know, front that that Warriors front court. Amari Spellman could be in the conversation at 4-1. He got 27 minutes last game. Sorry, 22 minutes, 27 fantasy points. Before that, he got 42 fantasy points. Spellman's a talented dude. I mean, he's not the best in the league, but he's not the worst. He can get you 30. He just needs to get the minutes. Usage rate is really good, 22, 29, 16. Comes off the bench. Um, however, he could start alongside Draymond Green. We don't know. Draymond Green's a point guard now, so God knows. You see him shooting them jump shots wearing that backpack. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that meme, but whenever he, he takes a jump shot, it looks like he's wearing a backpack. It's hella funny. You guys got to check it out. So Spellman, you can definitely go there at 4-1, especially with no Marquise Chris. Next up, Serge Ibaka. Toronto shorthanded, 7-8. Ibaka, absolutely, without question, get him in there. 40-36, 41 in his last three. Usage rate is 25, 31, and 20. He gets the start, guys. Um, Charlotte is ranked 21st in the league against bigs. So last time he played him, he got a 41. Next up, Julius Randle at 7-6, going up against Utah. Randle balled out tonight in a tough matchup. The were the toughest matchup, the Lakers. But once AD went down, he went off. That's the only reason why. So if you took a chance on Randall, it paid off for you tonight. Um, if you foresaw that AD was going to get hurt, congratulations. <laughs> All right. Um, 35, 40, 48, plus whatever he did tonight. Um, Julius Randall's just been red hot. It's just that simple. Going up against Utah, ranked 10th in the league against Biggs. Next up, he might do you a favor, Derek Favors. Going up against Chicago, ranked 30th in the league against Biggs, guys. 31, 31, 45. He's coming back from injury, slowly getting back to his old form. Um, definitely, I think, honestly, he's good for a 30. We'd expect a little bit more out of a 7-3 player. Um, 31, 31, 45, 38, 36 in his last five. So... Definitely worth a look. TJ Warren, I would love to play this guy, but not at 6'5". Two weeks ago, he was 4'9". Uh, I'm not paying 6'5 for TJ Warren, and he's only $400 cheaper on FanDuel. I get it. He got a 50 last game, but that's no excuse to jack him up to 6'5", because he ain't going to get a 50 again. No way. Right, Schroeder? That's right. So I'm going to pass only because of the price, not that he's a bad player. Next up. Had a really bad game. Maxi Kleber, if Porzingis is out, he's only 5'5". Five five. He should get the start, and it's a good bounce-back game. He only got 15 fantasy points last game. He's normally good for 30 or more if he gets the start. Going up against Denver. Tough matchup, but not the toughest. He's gotten a 32 and a 30 last two times he's played him. So Kleber should be low-owned, I think, at even though he's cheap. I think a lot of people just look at their last game and like, man, that guy screwed me. I'm not going to play him. So that's how it goes. Next up, Paul Millsap at 4'8", back in the 4K range, which I love, because he's been playing like dog dookie. 10, 19, 20 fantasy points in his last three games. The minutes haven't been there. Now he's coming back from injury. And you know what's up. He's due. And whenever he plays Dallas, for some reason, he gets out of bed for him. Check this out. 35, a 50, a 46, and a 30. The last four times he's played Dallas. 35, 50, 46, and a 30. Paul Millsap, I am definitely going to roll out at 4-8, guys. That is a great price, especially for someone who plays like that against Dallas. Next up, 3-6, Miles Leonard. This is just a gut feeling. Um, you heard it here first. I'm calling this one. Miles Leonard's going to break the slate. All right. He's only 3-6. 28, 21, 11 in his last three. Another one coming back from injury. But I just, I don't know, guys. I see him getting like 40 or more fantasy points. I have no rhyme or reason to it. It's just, I, I, I sense a disturbance in the force. All right. And, um, yeah, Miles Leonard. You heard it here first. Throw him into GPP. He's going to break the slate. All right, if I'm wrong, roast the fuck out of me in the next video, but 
If I'm right, you guys better give me props. So Miles Leonard, get him in there. I might even put him as my thumbnail, just so you guys remember to play him. All right? No, seriously. But in all honesty, I had a dream last night that I was. <laughs> I dream about DFS. I dreamt that I was like checking my scores and um. It was like the third quarter, and he's already had 40-something fantasy points, and it was Miles Leonard. So my dreams only come true, guys. The force is strong with this one. It's not just about my name. I'm Native American, so I believe in all that spiritual stuff, guys. So sue me. All right, so let's go to center. Off the top, you got Nikolai Jokic. Guys, I'm not going to play him until he's stable. I get it. He got a 73 last game. That shocked everybody. Damn near woke the dead with that, but I'm going to pass. Play him at, at your leisure because he could get you a 30. And there goes your night. If you're willing to take that risk, I'd rather play the odds. I like Busevich. He's back at 9K. This is where he normally is. Um, I'll still pay 9K for him at center. 48, 48, 48 in his last three games. You cannot be more consistent than that. Gets 30 points a game. Going up against Washington, he should destroy, destroy Washington. They're ranked 27th in the league. He's been a rebounds machine lately, just getting all these rebounds, tons of them. Great history against Washington, 43, 64, 45, and a 42. Vucevic, get him in there. Next up, Bam out of Bayou at 8-3, 42, 35, 37. He's starting to cool off a little bit. He's not getting 50s and 60s every game like he was at the beginning of the season, but it's Bam going up against Indiana. Last time he faced him, he got a 47. Um, so not too shabby. 42, 35, 37, 38, and a 22. So you see he had that dry spell. He's starting to trend up again. So don't sleep on Bam at 8-3 when he gets 50 fantasy points, guys. Next up, we got the Bear, Rudy Gobert at 7-9, safe 30-point play. 33, 37, 39. He's not going to break the slate. He hasn't been playing like it lately. 37, 33, 39, 48, 24 in his last three. Against New York, look at this, though. This is what really stood out to me. 33, 48, 48, and a 63, 63. You know what, guys? It's really bugging me. I'm going to put Miles Leonard as my thumbnail, all right, just so you guys remember. But Rudy Gobert, get him in there at 7-9. Next up, I absolutely love this play. Clint Capella at 7-8. This is just straight math. This has nothing to do with uh, dreams and spiritual shit. It's just common sense. Clint Capella at 7-8? Yes, please. Thank you very much. Got a 60 last game. Got a 36 before that. Coming back from injury. Um, going up against ATL. He should destroy ATL. Everybody does down low. Um, that's what she said. Uh, 44 last time he faced him. So get yourself some Clint Capella. Trying to look like De uh, Dennis Rodman or whatever. Whoever the hell that had that bleach patch in his head. From that Sylvester Stallone movie. That's how old I am, guys. It was like done in the 90s. Uh, Demolition Man. There you go. Uh, we went over them. Went over Ibaka, Favors. Next up, so Miles Turner. Even if Sabonis plays at 5-6, you can pair them both up. Sabonis, I mean, Miles Turner's, I think, hopefully, he's getting back to the Miles Turner we know and love. 35, 27, and 31. Now, 5-6... All you need out of him is a 30-point game, and he should get it easily against Indiana. Easily. All right? So I definitely like Miles Turner in this matchup. Next up, Enos Cantor coming off a bad game at 5-6. He was starting to get really chalky, too, so hopefully this takes ownership away from him because he had such a bad game last game. His minutes didn't change. Um, his usage rate went down to 12%. Before that, it was 42 But he gets another shot at San Antonio. Um, great rebound game for Enos Cantor. Get him in there at 5-6. Next up, Mitchell Robinson against Utah. 5K Mitchell Robinson. I'll take it. I will take it. Last time he played him, he got a 40. So, doesn't always get the most minutes in the world, guys. Uh, obviously, he didn't tonight because they got blown the, you know what, out. Um, but, Definitely a GPP play right here, Mitchell Robinson. Again, with the Warriors guys, Willie Colley Stein at 4 9, and it rhymes. Shoot, that's good luck. Hopefully, he's good for 30 fantasy points. He got 33 last game with only 26 minutes. He should get more minutes, guys. All right. Um, no Chris. 
you should get the minutes. So get him in there at four nine. He is a goofy looking motherfucker though. I'll tell you what. But Willie Cauley Stein, if you're watching this, I know I'm in the Bay Area. If you ever see me on the street, please do not beat me up. All right. So that's going to do it guys. So that, that's it. So we broke it down, right? Hopefully that wasn't too painful. That's what he said. And it is time for hashtag Schroeder's picks. Yeah, he's looking at me. So Schroeder's going to give you his two double double calls and his triple double call. The person who's going to break the slate. So let me bring this little rascal here. This is the man, Schroeder Skywalker. So Schroeder, take a look. Who's getting the first double double? All right, you guys heard that, right? You guys understand cat? Oh, well, shoot, you guys better learn it. I will translate it for you. See, I'm like Han Solo. He's like Chewbacca. He said Vucevic is getting a double-double. That's a good call, dude. All right, so Schroeder, who's going to get the second double-double? Who do you, okay, who do you got? Who? That's a pretty safe one, wouldn't you say? All right. Schroeder, <laughs> we got one more pick. You can't go. You cannot go. So Schroeder says Trey Young's getting a double double, guys. That's a pretty easy one. So Schroeder, we got it. We got to pick it. We got to break the slate. Who's going to do it? I know I, I said it's Miles Leonard, but who do you think's getting the triple double, Schroeder? Who's going to break the slate? All right. So you guys heard that, right? I will translate it for you. He said, you guys guess what he said? Let me know if you got it right. He's, <laughs> he said James Harden's getting a triple double. So that's going to do it for hashtag Schroeder's picks. And that's going to do it for the video, guys. I really appreciate you tuning in and watching. Um, hopefully this makes you uh, a better fantasy player and hopefully it helps you with your lineups tomorrow. Guys, you want to join our club? www.dfsclub.com. Come join the family. We'd love to have you guys. Um, it's all about education here, guys. All right. Um, and you're working with the best in the business. We got tons of sharks in here. We're legit. We're making this industry better for everybody and affordable for everybody. And we're getting rid of all them snakes and ripoffs and scams out there. So we're doing good things. I'm proud of that. And don't forget draft dashboard. This tool right here is $1 for 30 days. Let's get you guys a lineup. I was almost forgot. You can do a cash or a GPP lineup. This is a new feature here. So once ownership is in tomorrow, you can do a cash lineup also. So we got Marcus Smart, Herder, Reddick, Sabonis, Spellman, Kyle Lowry, Reggie Bullock, Jimmy Butler. I like that. That should be a low owned lineup. That's a good GPP lineup, guys. Throw it in the quarter. Let me know what happens. And that's going to do it for the video. I'm going to get up out of here. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. The NHL video last night, uh, I'll put it to you this way. NBA video, again, got 1.4K views. My NHL video only got 153 views. So, But it's only a three-game slate, so I'm not going to do an NHL video tonight. I'm going to wait for a bigger slate. So um, I'm going to keep at it and see if the viewership goes up because I love playing it, guys. If you haven't played NHL DFS, you should give it a shot. Watch my videos, though, first, or join the club. So God bless you. God bless your families. Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. I live and die by that, guys. Fuck the haters. Just worry about yourselves. Don't worry about anybody else. All right? So I will see you guys. Come on. Take care. Have a great night.